Hey everybody, Elon here with another unboxing and I got something super awesome that I picked up. Uh, I'm big into photography. I have a watch company and I like to do macro photos of my watches. I love doing artistic photography. So I was looking for something portable that I could take with me wherever I went and that would offer me versatility and a certain degree of control. And I found this really cool camera called the L16 Lite. And what the L16 Lite is, is a camera with 16 different individual cameras on it. So you don't have to carry around expensive lenses and this big bag of camera gear. And it allows you to actually change the depth of field after the fact because it's taking 10 pictures per picture you take and using something called computational photography to after the fact stitch those pictures together and allow you to manipulate them in their own software. Now it's pretty early on still in the development of this camera. I know people got it a year ago for tests um, and they've gotten better and better and better supposedly in terms of their software development. So I just got it here. I'm going to give you a first impression of the camera body and, and the packaging and then I'll follow up down the road once I've been using it for a few weeks with my rundown of how the camera actually performs. So here I am on the website. I just wanted to run through all the technical specs quickly and make sure I get them right. So it's listed at $2,000, but right now they have a special on Touch of Modern for $1,299, I believe. So you could find it cheaper than that. I think $1,299 for this camera, considering it's a $2,000 camera, is a good deal. Uh, that's a temporary special, but on their website they have other specials constantly going on, like 25% off until Halloween. So I'm sure they're always going to have specials going on. So if we scroll down, we get a quick rundown of the specs. So 52 megapixel resolution, which is insane. Uh, this was a huge plus for me right here. 28 to 150 millimeter full frame equivalent zoom and 13 stops of dynamic range. So as long as all this performs, I think the camera is going to be quite revolutionary in terms of having something that portable uh, that you can keep in a small bag or in your pocket that has all these specs. Um, and then they have their own Lumen software, which comes with the, the camera, and that supposedly allows you to do all the control for the depth of field and all that stuff after the fact. So let's jump into the unboxing right now and check it out. Okay, so here I am with the package. It came in this cardboard box. Um, I'll just take it out. So I don't think there's anything else in the cardboard box. As far as I can see, that's just... Yeah, so it seems like everything is in this white box right here. I'm just got to take the plastic off of it. I'm going to pull up my knife that I use in everything I do and try not to scratch the box up. Here it is and it has like that little that's what the face of the camera looks like. There's some kind of phobia about a bunch of small holes together so if you have that I don't think you're going to like this camera because the camera actually has all these small holes Together. I forget the name of that phobia, but if you know it, comment below, let me know. So that was just a protective box and there's the other box. Very nice packaging. So here's the camera. Um, it's a good size. My immediate impression is it's a little bigger th than I thought it would be. I thought it would be, here's my iPhone. Oh no, it's about the same size as my iPhone 8 Plus uh, with the case on. So it's not massive. I don't know if the camera's picking up both of them, but yeah, it's not massive. Um, let's take it out of the box and just see. Take the plastic off right here. And that's the cool part of the camera. That's those 16 different individual uh, lenses. Now that's clearly a technological feat to be able to, to put that into one camera and then to have the ability to stitch them together. If you like cool new technologies, and right off the bat, I can tell you this camera is going to be something you like because it's so different. Let's see just quickly what comes in the box besides that. So there's this little package on top, a little welcome package. Oh, nice. It gives me a little protective case. So I like that because I'm going to be keeping it in a little carry bag. I'm not going to keep this in my pocket and it fits nice and snug in there. So it's not going to fall out and there's still plastic on the back, but that's a nice material. So we have that. Let me just take the plastic off the back. Huge screen on the back also, which is nice. Uh, looks like it'll attract fingerprints, but that's expected on something like this. So we have that right there. Then we have the little charging cable. Now they send you a link to download the Lumen software, which I've already done. Here's a little charging cable, and then there's a little strap to make sure it doesn't fall, which is good. I was hoping it would come with one of these, just because 
I don't want to drop this camera. It's not the cheapest. Okay, so that looks like that's everything in the box. Let's just see if it's powered enough to turn on and uh, have a first look at what it's like when we open it up. Well, it might not be charged. So I did the update. I charged it a little bit. Charged pretty quick. That 68%. That took me about 40 minutes. I turned it on and uh, just my initial impressions. I won't go in too much depth. But the uh, just to confirm the size of the camera, it's 6.5 by 3.3 inches by 0.94. So not huge, but not small. It's too big to fit in a pocket, uh, but it'll definitely fit in that little little bag. And then I have a little carry bag that I take with me for my camera gear anyway. That's way smaller and way more convenient than a DSLR. It feels super cool already. Like the cameras are doing all types of stuff and trying to zoom because it's, it's on right now. So they're trying to focus. So just... Um, just a run through of what kind of happens. This is a five inch screen on the back. There's not many buttons. I haven't really played with these two yet because it seems everything can be done from the touch screen. You have a button here and then you have your power button. Okay, so this essentially functions as my zoom the same way as if I touched on the screen. Here I can choose auto, ISO priority or shutter priority. And then here I can see my ISO, my shutter and, and which uh, lens I'm on. And you can actually just flick down to hop from 35 millimeter to 25, you can do it manually if you want to go one by one. And it works really well. People, I've heard people complain that this was slow. For me, it's not being slow, I guess, because I just did the newest update. Sometimes it doesn't read my finger right away. So like this swipe thing doesn't work for me right away because it's too busy focusing. But once it focuses, then it works pretty good. Um, and then there's just some other, other features, I guess, down here. Uh, so those here, I took a couple pictures actually I could show you guys. So my girlfriend took this one. Uh, and what it allows you to do is just see a quick preview. So these are three different pictures, one at uh, 28, one at 75, and then one at 150. Um, just to see with different lighting. So it had really good low light performance off the bat. That was something I noticed. Uh, and then my girlfriend took this picture. And if you go to preview, what it does is it says get a, uh, a sense of how your photo turned out. And it'll take the uncompressed image and it'll combine them all and I guess stitch them together and show you here. I haven't done that, but uh, it's cool that you can at least kind of get a real preview in this little screen here. I'm curious to see how this screen, uh, the visibility of the screen when I'm outside in the sunlight. But indoors, so far, it's perfect. So I'm not going to go over all the features so far. It appears you can rate your pictures, you can delete them, you can do some editing to them directly on the camera, which is super cool. Actually, you could change the contrast, exposure, temperature, tint, vibrance, all, all, all your basic functions. Here are my first impressions or my final thoughts on my first impressions. Uh, the build quality right off the bat feels really, really nice. It feels like a high quality item. Uh, the size, like I said, a little bigger than I anticipated. This isn't going to fit in a pocket. It's definitely not a po uh, pocket camera, but I do have this, which is super small. This could never fit a DSLR and my lenses. It's something to carry around every day. Super convenient. This fits in it perfectly. So for this, this is the perfect fit. Um, it's taking forever for the camera to power off. I don't know if that's just because it's a first time thing and I just did an update. So uh, besides that, the camera looks crazy. I think it's the type of thing people will notice if you're taking a picture on the street. I don't think you can pull this out and be inconspicuous. Um, although it's small enough that I don't think you're going to get in any trouble without permits or just walking around and snapping photos. So in that sense, it's really good if you want to be able to go to places where they normally wouldn't let you record. Supposedly 4K camera, 4K video footage is coming out for this in the next couple of months. In the meantime, you can take great pictures. Um, other than that, the screen to me is decent quality. I have no problems with it yet. The focus seems a little slow and annoying because it's doing it automatically. I haven't figured out if you could turn that off. Um, other than that, my initial impressions of it are very good. Uh, I think I'm going to have to play around with it see what kind of pictures it takes. I'm going to do some macro photography with my watches. I'm going to do some portrait photography. I'm going to do some uh, landscapes and some street photography and come back and give my final thoughts of all the features and everything. But right off the bat, I like it a lot. I think it's wacky looking and I like that. Uh, I think it's a cool piece of technology at a minimum and I haven't used the Lumen software yet. So that'll be the next step also and I'll include that in the next update. Thank you for watching. Subscribe.